Hello, and welcome to the Eileen Silverman Show. I'm your host, Eileen, and on this week's program, our guest from the city of Gainesville and Alachua County, Wild Spaces and Public Places, highlight the many achievements of your half cent sales tax and share the possibilities that are still underway. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for our program. I'm delighted to introduce my guest, Betsy Waite, Director of Wild Spaces and Public Places for the City of Gainesville. And Betsy, it is wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. Oh, it's our pleasure because so much is happening with Wild Spaces and Public Places. I like the name, it kind of <laughs> says it all and it's enriching our entire community and beyond. Gainesville, City of, Alachua County, uh, outlying areas. Um, we're just improving all the time. So kind of explain, uh, take us back in the history of this half cent sales tax and, bring, and then we can kind of move forward together. Absolutely, um, so it's an amazing opportunity to be part of this program. And so this is the second iteration of a half cent sales tax being collected throughout all of Lacho County for park improvements, park expansion, land conservation. Uh, a two year half cent sales tax took place in 2009 and 10. Okay. And that completed a handful of the projects. And then the city of Gainesville underwent a master planning process. Uh, that was adopted by the city commission to uh, 2012. Right. And that, it was very extensive, took a couple years. Um, we engaged over 1,700 neighbors in the city Ooh, of Gainesville. That's some good input. Mm -hmm. So we received <laughs> as much input as we could, collected all that data, and really took a hard look at the existing assets and infrastructure in the city of Gainesville, and then kind of figured out our strengths and weaknesses and where there's opportunity for improvements. Right. We're, and, and improvements have been ongoing. So um, when did this all begin? So November 8th, 2016, the half cent sales tax passed. Correct. So the community agreed, yes, and I own a business and uh, I don't think anybody ever noticed or complained about the half cent sales tax increase. Sure, so I think over 60% of residents or neighbors in Alachua County supported the half cent sales tax, yeah. so very strong support. Uh, in the city of Gainesville limits, the support was even higher. Yeah. Um, so in voting precincts, the, I mean, it was over 80%. Um, so again, uh, a lot of support. I mean, people really want to see their park infrastructure improved, enhanced, and expanded. Yes, and I mean, I know things have been difficult with COVID, that goes without saying, but, um, so the, but the whole park idea and the enhancement, and, and you have made such progress. I mean, the list oh, of you. all that has been accomplished and is still ongoing is uh, really impressive. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate hearing that feedback. Um, we've tried to get as much accomplished as we could. And now with COVID, the pandemic, I think having these great outdoor spaces, yes. it's even more important than maybe it was before for people to be able to safely get outside and exercise exactly. and maintain their mental health um, and just be able to enjoy recreational activities with your neighbors safely right. I think is extremely important. And I think parks, you know, when you travel around the United States, when you could or overseas, mm -hmm. one day we will again, still, you always go to the parks in a city because that is a sign of a wonderful place to visit and that is what the city of Gainesville and beyond has accomplished, is accomplishing through this mm -hmm. opportunity. Uh, as the city commission has said, they want a park within 10 minutes of every neighborhood and, and you're getting there. You're upgrading the parks along the way. Yeah, I know the city commission's goal is to have a world-class park network. And we have a lot of older infrastructure in the city of Gainesville. 
Um, the planning that took place in the 1960s and 70s was amazing. A lot of the parks we have today were acquired during that time period. But now, you know, it, it's time for some major overhauls and improvements yes. because the infrastructure is getting older. And so it's a great opportunity to really look at all of our assets and just try to prioritize improvements. And I mean, the, our park network is the reason why I chose to move to the city of Gainesville. See, that says it all. Yes. But now you're, you're a part of improving this. So you, mm -hmm. it's drawn you here and now you're a part of all that is enriching our community. It's and and we're going to take a quick break, but then we're going to come back and talk about more of those parks and, and uh, the work in progress. Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're back talking about wild spaces and public places. And Betsy, there are so many projects that are, as you said, fluid, underway, have completed, ongoing. I went to Northside Park. I have to congratulate you and everyone. It is just outstanding. What an opportunity. Tell us how that evolved. Uh, so the Northside Park Improvement Project began well before I joined this department. Okay. The Rotary Clubs of Gainesville Foundation were one of the, they're a catalyst that really got the ball rolling. So back in okay. 2015, um, they started discussions with the city of Gainesville and they had a vision for an intergenerational park and play space. And they thought Northside Park right next door to the Senior Recreation Center, which is the right location. And the timing was right with the passing of the half cent sales tax. Uh, so we had a partnership grant with the Rotary Clubs of Gainesville Foundation, Wild Spaces and Public Places was the other funding source. And so all the stars aligned and we were <laughs> able to make it happen. Oh, it is out. We're, we're fortunate because it is a wonderful facility. And I love that the partnership, that's as it should be, that's actually a good example for others to follow because you've got, as I said, many things happening. Touch on some other of the projects completed perhaps or almost completed. Hmm. Uh, so we have a handful. I mean, you do. In this last year, we completed over 10 projects. Oh well, another gosh. really nice project that completed just this past fall mm -hmm. was what was formerly called the Kiwanis Girl Scout Park oh, that was yeah. renamed by the community uh, Oakview Park. And so it's a neighborhood park. And it's now has a brand new playground yes. and we renovated a building that was uh, constructed by the Kiwanis Club of Gainesville in 1955 used by the Girl Scouts for many, many years. I know this very well. Yes. <laughs> and now Aces in Motion, a local not-for-profit, yes. is using the building, and they're going to be starting programming in just a couple weeks. Oh, now see, and I've done a program on Aces in Motion. As you said, such a good partnership. Mm -hmm. This is just helping everyone, and I, I've seen that part too. Drive down Northwest 8th Avenue all the time. So it, it, every little pocket that you've touched, it's... It's just a, a wonderful improvement. And there's still more. There is so much in the works <laughs> right now. Say it all. <laughs> um, so the city of Gainesville has almost 100 parks and facilities. And in the last four years, we have touched 46 of them oh. with this half cent sales tax funding. So we're making good progress. There's still a lot to come. Yes. Um, a lot in the works. So and we, you always are encouraging community involvement and input. Absolutely. So Unity Park is currently under construction. It completes later this spring. And the neighborhood was able to select the playground equipment that they wanted to see at that neighborhood park. Oh. So we're really excited about that. There's also the partnership on that project with the Gainesville Women's Club. Right. And again, just these groups that act as catalysts and really help get the ball rolling. Um, and That's what just... makes it, puts it into motion. That's what creates that mm -hmm. energy yeah, to make definitely. it happen. Yes, yes. And still more. I know we're going to run out of time, but we can still cover what you just have so many. I'm, yeah, I'm and, impressed. And the years to come, I mean, we're excited um, just What's to have up? this opportunity. So, yes, the Clarence R. Kelly Center. I know mm. that you're working in East Gainesville to reestablish that park. We'll and, have a, a brand new community yes. center uh, at the Clarence R. Kelly Center location. So, a brand new building, brand new, very robust park. 
just yes. outside. Forest and Park's going to see improvements. Um, Albert Ray Massey or Westside Park yes. will see a brand new accessible playground with some oh. autism spectrum equipment. I mean, there are so many great projects <laughs> that are going to be coming in just if the next we, few if years. If you go to your website, you can try to follow them all. But mm. uh, you have such a, a, a small but mighty team behind you. And great people. I couldn't, couldn't have asked for a more passionate group that just cares so much about the park system here in Gainesville. Um, we are small but mighty, and we are working as hard as we can to make a world-class park system for the city of Gainesville. It truly enriches our city. Um, and when people talk about what they like to do in Gainesville, and they talk about going to our parks, well, first of all, that's got to make you and your team very proud. Mm -hmm. But I think it's very true. We are very fortunate to have our wild spaces and public places achieving so much. And we are fortunate to have the voters in Alachua County um, behind us and supporting yes. us and letting us know what they would like to see in their local park. Um, it's a passionate community and it's really it a great opportunity. And I thank you and your team for all you are achieving for us. Thanks again. Well, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Certainly. And stay with us. We'll be right back. We're back talking about wild spaces and public places, and I'm pleased to introduce Gina Peoples, Assistant County Manager, Chief of Staff. And Gina, I'm delighted to have you join us. Thank you so much for inviting me. Certainly, uh, we gained much knowledge from Betsy about um, many projects through the city of Gainesville, and um, now you can let us understand how Alachua County is involved in wild spaces and public places. So of course, Alachua County, we have a interest in conservation lands as well as active parks. And in addition to Alachua County's active parks and conservation lands, we also care a great deal about what all of the cities are doing. So in addition to the city of Gainesville, our eight smaller cities also uh -huh. receive a portion of the wild spaces funding and they have many projects that are underway as well. Right. Even though, now, it, how have things affected uh, all these projects, you know, with the pandemic? Uh, before pandemic, what was the situation? Sure. So pre-COVID, Alachua County's monthly uh, collections for the, the half-cent sales tax were about a million dollars. Mm -hmm. And now that uh, we've been in the pandemic for about a year, we're actually down just about 7.3%. Wow. which equates to about $77,000 a month, so not quite a million dollars a year. So where we were gathering about 12 million a year, we're down to about 11 million. Yeah, well, because people are just not out and about mm -hmm. doing the same things. Yes, that's correct. Yes, definitely. And now you have an oversight board that, and, and explain that. Sure, so whenever the citizens of Alachua County uh, overwhelmingly supported the passage of the sales tax. One of the criteria that they voted for was the creation of an oversight board. The oversight board is responsible to track all of the expenses, and so we meet uh, sometimes on a monthly basis. Okay. We review all of the financial reports from the prior fiscal year, and if they have questions, they are actually permitted to do a forensic audit of any of the projects just to give our citizens the reassurance right. that their money has been invested as they expected it to be. Yes, I understand. So these citizens, they actually do a very in-depth, thorough job, and they have actually brought some things to the Board of County Commissioners questioning whether or not these were legal purposes and whether or not the county should consider demanding repayment. Right. So very important work and, and activities. Absolutely. Um, yes. Because it and, and, and it means so much to the citizens of, of Alachua County, all the many projects you're working on. It enriches our community. And, but then you talk about the municipalities, you know, in the outlying area. It's major for them. It is. And so something that uh, folks may not realize is that the state actually sends the money back based on a population 
distribution. Okay. So, of course, with Alachua County having the largest population in the city of Gainesville also having a very large population, we certainly get the lion's share of the Wild Spaces right. proceeds. But each of the eight smaller municipalities also get a pro rata share. But some of the cities, they, it takes them many years to, to be able that. to get enough money to actually afford to complete a project. Right, I could understand. And yet I know many projects are underway in mm -hmm. all of these uh, smaller communities and, uh, and certainly important to their lifestyle, the quality of their life, and enriching their community. Yes, and the Alachua County Board of County Commissioners also saw fit to work with all of our cities and grant back to them six million dollars of the county's allocation okay so that we can help get some of their projects kick-started and that we could really help invest in the entire community oh see those are very positive things to know mm -hmm. you, you and you have a lot of projects going on we're going to talk more about these and uh, bring us up to date we're going to just take a quick break stay with us we'll be right back We're discussing wild spaces and public places. And Gina, so much more happening with Alachua County. Tell us about many of the projects that are underway. So interestingly, the Board of County Commissioners has said that our Alachua County wild spaces proceeds, 90% would go to conservation lands and 10% would go to our active parks. So because uh, of that formula distribution, we were able to uh, purchase more than 5,200 acres so far with conservation lands at, oh. a, at an estimated $19.5 million. Our most recent purchase was Parcel E, which connects Austin Carey to the Ballou Forest. So connectivity is very important whenever we're talking about our conservation lands. Yes. Because ultimately we would love to have a trail, for example, you could walk or bike or hike in a loop all around Alachua County. Yes, I mean, that has been a goal, mm -hmm. but step by step, you, through your vantage point, can see that it's happening. It is, it, it is, is indeed. And then interestingly, our active parks, there's a number of things happening oh, in yeah. each of the quadrants of the entire county. Um, one of the things that I'm very proud of is our relationship with Rotary at our oh, Veterans Memorial indeed. Park. So we're actually putting in our very first splash splash park. This is good. At Veterans Park, and it's gonna be a veterans theme splash park. Appropriate. Yes, and so we're so proud of that partnership and that they stepped forward and they had this vision of having a splash park in one of our parks and at Veterans that it's just most appropriate that it's a veterans theme. I agree and they're making it happen. That's an excellent partnership and we value Rotary, certainly. And what about Camp McConnell? What's that status? So that one is actually kind of a fun story. Um, <laughs> I purchased it at auction back in 2017 and talk about not wanting to scratch your nose or blink your eyes because you are at an auction and, and you yeah, know. Yeah, you never, and they'll say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll think you bid. And so uh, I was able to purchase it uh, for the county then, and then we shuttered it for two years. We tried to sell it. We tried to enter into a partnership agreement with some other groups for a multitude of reasons that did not work out. But in January of last year, the board decided, you know what, let's go ahead and keep it as a county maintained operated park. So they've That's authorized $2.7 million in improvements to be made to the facility, which are underway now with the goal of being open for summer camp in the summer of 2021. Oh, that's an excellent goal. Yes, much to look forward to. When you talk about conservation, when you talk about the trails and the loop and the lands, what, are, what is some of what comes to your mind, to your vision, to help people understand the importance of this? Sure, so the importance of our environmentally sensitive lands is really to protect our drinking water for habitat restoration, to make sure that our animals, our wildlife, have safe places where they can, they can live and they can thrive. Right. We really want to make sure that everything is maintained to a certain standard, that we don't have things that are found in California, for example, growing here in Florida, that they should be native to this area. Exactly. And oftentimes we will do prescribed fire, and what that does is it, it 
burns uh, a lot of the the things that are growing, the understory, the underbrush, and then that allows the good, healthy things to grow. So, you know, some, it looks ugly for a while, and <laughs> but, people don't always understand that, right. but it really is so incredibly helpful. And it's all about, well, enriching our community and keeping mm -hmm. us and nature, uh, you know, um, healthier, and helping us, um, you know, conserve for the future. Absolutely. So that we are leaving a, a footprint of uh, more wonderful opportunity for people to enjoy. And when you speak about the loop, I know we're going to run out of time, you speak about the loop, it's so important because that's the movement of the, the animals and, and it all just has to work together yes. to provide the best opportunity for us. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just so impressed. Uh, wild Spaces in Public Places is just really moving forward in a very positive way. Yes, and it's a legacy for generations. I mean, you know, the, I, I sometimes think a hundred years from now, people are going to look back and think, wow, how forward thinking were those folks? I agree. I definitely agree. And I thank you and everyone at Alachua County who worked so hard to make this legacy possible for us to enjoy now and for the future. Thank you very much, Gina. And I thank uh, Betsy for representing uh, the city of Gainesville. And thank you to all of the you know, members of our community who made this half cent sales tax possible and, and may yet again, because Wild Spaces Public Places is definitely enriching all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm so glad you tuned in, and I hope you will go out and enjoy a park, a trail, and experience all this community has to offer. Uh, we're so glad you joined us, and I hope you'll join us next week. Take care.